Hey guys, it's Chase here on Jimmy Master Animatronics and today as you can see I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. Well, I say that because there's some people I think that don't particularly like this item. Um, this is the Jimmy 2015, I would say it's probably like 5.5 foot, yeah sure, 5.5 5 foot tall life-size animated Sarah the Sassy Witch um, with Cauldron. Um, I don't exactly know where this one was sold. I don't, I don't even think I've seen the box for this one. I could be mistaken, but I know the original one was sold at Lowe's back in 2014, I think. I could be like completely wrong about all my, all my years, but I'm going to, obviously I'll edit the video afterwards and kind of correct it, but um, I got this recently off of one of my friends. Um, basically I picked up an item for him and his like payment for me for driving the two hours to pick it up for him was this item, which I had been kind of eyeing for a little bit. Um, he initially offered it to me before we even did like the driving like marketplace deal. And, um, I had been kind of like wanting it. And then he said, Hey, I'll just give you Sarah. If you go pick this up for me, I'm like, Eh, sure, why not? But that's not to say that she did not come with her issues. Um, as you can see, cosmetically, she is in pretty good shape. I mean, like, there's some slight things that might be off. Like, there's some scuffing on the cauldron. Um, obviously, she's not going to have, like, all of her glitter because, I mean, it's, it's glitter. It comes off so easily, and it's so annoying that Jemmy decided to put glitter on her. I don't like that at all. I mean, it, it adds a lot of detail to it, but if you just look on her base, there's so much glitter on there, and I'm sure there's so much glitter all over my house now, especially my room. Um, but I think other than that, she's in basically perfect shape. Um, as you can see, she has her hair tied back right now, which is something that I did because I think it looks a lot better that way, because when she doesn't have her hair tied back and it goes off to the side, it makes it look like her head's super fat. Whereas when you have it tied up against tightly on her face, it makes her look like she's like more of the skinny head, which is how it's supposed to look, I guess. Um, she's got a pointed hat, which makes it about five foot tall. Or not five foot, sorry, um, six foot tall. But you can't really position it up. There's nothing holding it up. So it's just really going to lean off to the side, which I'm not really a big fan of. But if I wanted to, I could probably stuff it with some sort of paper or stuffing or whatever. Um... She is a pole-based item. She's obviously not collapsible or, collapsible or anything. She's, like, too new for that. Um, but she does have the plastic base and everything, so she's one of the good pole-based items. Um, instead of having just regular metal rods, she has these plastic pieces on the end of the rods that snap together, which you'd think work, would, would work pretty well, but they don't. At least on this one, they don't. And I would imagine that they probably don't work well on any of the other items because um, none of the ones on here like to stay together. Like, they'll, they'll go in and they'll click. But if you wanted to, without pushing down the tab, you could pull them apart. And again, that, that, that keeps it from, like, if you wanted to pick up the item and move it, one of the poles is probably going to come undone and then it just falls apart, which is, which is very annoying. So I kind of have to drag her over to the wall instead of just, like, picking her up like a collapsible item. Um, so that's my only issue with the pole based ones but other than that I think they're pretty nice. Um, this was probably the last Cauldron Witch that Jemmy did and if not I think that there was there was like another one that was sold at home I think but it, that might have been like a year like the same year as this or like a year after. Um, either way this one seems to be built a lot better than the uh, at home one. Um, she's got three or four different phrases which they're not really special because the model the year before this one had those same um, phrases, except they were a little bit more high-pitched. Um, but she's the only character that has, the, like, like Sarah herself is the only character that has these phrases, so I guess they, it's special to Sarah, but they did make, like, two different Sarah witches, so it's not like this prop in front of you is, like, the only prop that has that audio. Um... Another complaint that I have with her, which I, I, I will kind of show up close, um, she just has slits in the bottom of her shoes, and they're full of stuffing, so 
the stuffing could literally pour out of it if you wanted to pull it out, which is, I don't understand why they did that. Um, but I, I will show that when I get close to it later. Um, she, the issue that she had was her cauldron, it, it didn't even have any split gears. The, ge the, 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 um, the hole that holds the uh, shaft for one of the gears was completely broken off. And so there was nothing holding that one gear in place. So it would turn correctly one way, but when it would turn the other way, the gears would just like slide and skip and snap. And it was, I mean, I have so many clips of me just struggling fixing this damn thing. And I eventually just replaced the entire mech to begin with, which I feel like is kind of a failure or like giving up when you have to replace the entire mech. But I mean, there was literally nothing I don't think I could have done. Like, I, I had some recommendations from other friends, but it it wouldn't have worked well, I don't think. I mean, I tried gluing the mech with super glue, let it sit for a long time, like two hours, and it just, it just wasn't going to work. But with all that being said, she fully works now. She's got LEDs in her skirt that strobe. Well, I think one of them's burnt out, which is a little bit annoying, but... She's got LEDs in her skirt, that strobe, she's got light-up eyes, a head turn, and then she's got the cauldron, which spins, um, which is always nice. It's glad, I'm glad that the uh, newer um, Gemi items still had the spinning cauldron as opposed to just like a cauldron that doesn't do anything at all, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, she's got a sensor in the cauldron, which usually the sensor would be in the base of her, and she's still got that plastic piece, that little arch. It would house the sensor, but there's no sensor in there. They put it in the cauldron, and then she's got a sound sensor too. Now she's not plugged in right now, but her sensor is very sensitive. Um, so I think without further ado, I will go ahead and get up close to her, kind of show what's going on with her, some of the things that really annoy me about her, and then we'll get to activating her. All right, so here she is up close. Um, as you can see, she's got some decent detail on the face. Like, I mean, there's not too much, like, different paint jobs on it, but, I mean... With what they gave her and what they could have given her, I think it's I think it's all right. Um, the eyes were not done very well, though. You can just see there's just like lines there, and then the LED goes through it. So I guess there's not much detail in the eyes. But I mean, other than that, I think the face is pretty well detailed. Um, here's the hat I was talking about, and again, you can't really stand this up because there's nothing in it. But I think if you were to stand it up, it would be it would probably be about like six foot tall. So not too bad. And then, unlike a lot of Jemmy characters, her hair is not attached to the hat. It's actually attached to her head. But she also doesn't have any Velcro on it, so it's kind of... I wouldn't trust this outside because it might blow away in the wind. Um, here's her skirt, and I will show there's like a bunch of LEDs in here that strobe. You can see them. I think this one right here is burnt out, and that's that's really annoying. I really wish all the LEDs worked, but it's just one from what it seems like, so it's not a big deal. And then, this is what I was talking about with, like, I don't like how they did her legs. So, first of all, her legs are way too short because you can see the poles right there. Her skirt does not, either the skirt needs to be longer or her legs need to be longer. Um, but her legs are inflatable fabric. And they're stuffed right here. You can already see the stuffing starting starting to come out, guys. These this is not a rip. This is how it's supposed to be. There's just a gash down there, and it's the same thing on this side. I have no idea what the purpose of that is. I mean, there's a hole down here where the pole's supposed to go through. So then, what what is the point of having the the hole the hole right here for? I don't I don't understand it. And you can just see like all the glitter and crap on her base. Because that's, that's all from just this. Like, if you brush it off, like, if I just put my hand up here, I'm sure there's going to be, yeah, glitter on my hands now. I don't, you can't really see it, I'm sure, but there is glitter on my hands now. Um, she has a 9-volt adapter, and then she has a place where you can plug in the cauldron to let it mist. However, I don't have the adapter for that, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it probably would work. Um, but I did add more grease to it to uh, grease up the track so it would move smoothly. You can see, I can move it smoothly now. Um, so th there might be a little bit of a loss in connection because of how much grease I added towards it, but it also, but it might, it might work. I'm not sure. Um, unlike a lot of cauldron witches, her hands are actually easy to take off. Like they, you don't have to like jam them on. Like these are decently easy to uh, take off. And I know some people like to have like their hands up here for some reason. I don't know. 
I, I prefer them to be down like that. Um, she's got a spider on her chest right here, and, they got, and it has posable legs. And then I have her hair tied back here with a rubber band, which I just have on there. I don't, and it won't tangle the hair at all. It'll just be back there. Um, but I think that's about it with up close with her. There's not too much going on with her. She's just got so much glitter. <laughs> it's so annoying to clean up. But uh, yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and activate her for you guys. Um, again, I think she has probably like three phrases, I think, maybe even four. It's not many. Have you come for a treat or a trick? <laughs> size dancing snowman head turning mech which is the exact type of mech she needed but I think it might have been locked up so she's not turning it as fast but as the activations go by she might I don't know that might be as fast as she's supposed to turn I, I don't know it, it might go a little bit faster later um, and, I, and I don't know how the cauldron is supposed to be positioned because I, I've seen some videos where her arms like go insanely far out and then go completely back to her so there's a lot of arm movement but with mine her arms kind of stay in place, and it's just the stick that kind of moves around. I don't know. But I'll activate her like two more times, and I think that'll be it. Welcome to my home, my little victim. I, I mean, my little friend. <laughs> She will go ahead and turn off the lights so you can see um, her skirt lighting up better. Oh! Yet another creature of the night approaches! You can see it's got a pretty cool light show effect. Have you come for a treat? Or a trick? <laughs> Guess I could turn this off this last light. It just doesn't look good when there's no lights on her. <laughs> Sorry, Halloween just brings out the gold in me. <laughs> yeah, so some pretty cool uh, lighting effects she's got. Um, I really, I really love the items that have the light show effect in them, especially the strobing lights. I, I love it when items have that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys again next time. I hope my little victim. I I mean, my little friend. <laughs> There's nothing spooky out tonight, and I think it's you. <laughs> oh, yet another creature of the night approaches. Have you come for a treat or a trick? <laughs> 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 